what's going on everybody this video today is about love and it was inspired because I was talking to my mate on today and they really appreciated the um, the openness and the being real I was able to express myself and I'm I'm a very open person I'm a very I love words I love to talk so there was always conversation it wasn't like I was holding anything back so I thought but um, I was just able to be more open and the reason why I was able to be more open was because I understand me as a person a whole lot more and how I was able to understand me as a person a whole lot more is because I've actually been taking the time to listen to my thoughts. See, we live in a world um, today where everything is fast-paced. Um, there's always something going on. We have social media, multiple different social media platforms. And there's always something to take our attention. And we don't really have time to just sit and learn ourselves. You know, so I've been doing a lot of um, meditating and chakra cleansing and just trying to learn me as a person. And I've been very successful at that. So I was able to express it to my mate a whole lot more. And they really appreciated that, which is what led me to do this video. When it comes down to love, a lot of times we as people, not male or female, but the human race, we act on feeling. And we can't do that when it comes down to love. Because we all know that feelings change daily. So we have to begin to act on the knowing. Which is what you should be acting on in life in general. You know, that's why religions have to be uh, put aside. Because it operates on a belief system. We have to operate on a no system. And we're going back to love. We have to operate on the knowing that I love my partner. And not the feeling of I love my partner. Because there's going to be times where your partner are, is going to do things where you might not necessarily like that person. You might not necessarily feel like you're in love with that person. But you have to know that even though I might not feel like it, this is what it is. See, a lot of times we begin to act in the feeling that I'm feeling right now because I'm upset with you, I don't love you no more. So you step out and you do something stupid that you're later going to regret probably within that same hour. You say something that you don't really mean because you're operating off of your feeling instead of what you know. So sometimes you might have to take a walk. You might have to go in another room. You might have to uh, take a bath. You know, have time apart. Sometimes we make the situation worse because we uh, stick up and stay up under that person or, you know, we don't let each other breathe. And we all need uh, time. You know, um, and that's what I learned. And my mate learned that about me early. Um, even though I didn't fully know myself as well as I do today, they knew that I needed my time. I might go in a room for 30 minutes. It's not that you did anything. I just need to be by myself for a second. And I'll be right back out. We have to allow each other to be who we are. And I've been blessed to have a person that allows me to be who I am. That ex accepts me for me. And we just have fun together. So I would be foolish to give that up because of what I may be feeling at that time. So many times we see something or someone that is attractive to the physical eye. I know me personally, I'm a Gemini. I'm very flirtatious. I'm also a sapiosexual. I get turned on by intelligence, you know? And I like to look at uh, nice looking human beings, you know? So um, with that being said, I get turned on knowing that I can make you want me. And I'm just being honest. 
I love to do that. I love to flirt, but that's it. I know that I don't want anything in return, but I know the power of being able to lead other people on. So I can stop it or I don't do that anymore because I know that I don't want anything to happen from that. That's just a side of me that has to be tamed. And see, a lot of times we don't want to admit uh, the problem. We don't want to admit our fantasies. We don't want to admit how we are really feeling. Sometimes it's not, some people act on uh, their hoish tendencies. Everybody has, well, almost everybody, but most of us have a hole inside of us. Some people go out and they act on that, and some people are more stable and they don't. You know? So being that I am more stable and I don't act on how I feel, I don't do hoish things. But some people do, and they regret it because they were acting on feeling and not knowing. You know, some people might, oh, she's a hoe inside. You know, everybody looks at somebody throughout the day and says, hmm, nice. But I know that I don't want to sleep with that person. You're just nice to look at. But some of us go too far and... We lust after what we saw, and we step out and realize that it wasn't worth it. I didn't get any pleasure out of it. I actually feel bad about what I did, and, you know, I messed up. And luckily, in me being blessed, I never acted on how I was feeling because I just wasn't uh, brave enough. You know, I, I didn't have the guts to do it. And I know that I don't like, I don't like it like that. Even though I'm a very, even though I'm a very, uh, I, that's another subject. But staying on tack, we have to act on knowing of self and not the feeling of self that's the point of this video sometimes you might feel like you are bored with that person but it's not so much that you are bored with that person you have just gotten distracted of watching or looking at something that you think you want until you are bored with what you have but if you take your eyes off of what you think you want you actually see that I have it already. That was a lesson that I learned. Just recently, I realized that I'm watching this, so I think I want that. But I know I'm happy with what I, where I'm at. You know? And then I realized that you don't want that. You're infatuated with that. You're getting distracted by that, so you're not paying attention to this. And I could have lost the best thing that happened to me if I would have acted on a feeling and went after what had my attention. So I hope this video encouraged you to act on the know. Love on the knowing. Stop acting off a of feeling. Stop leaving your relationship because you're going through the motions today. That's how a lot of us messed up. Love it's not always a feeling. Love is a knowing. And I hope this video blessed you. Peace.